Hello. I've been busy on this. You can see how it's coming together now. All the stuff. Let me set this on the floor. Yeah, it's just like glass. Sorry about the shaky camera. Um, got all the hand wheels and stuff done. Got all the parts done up. Got all the mating surfaces. I had them taped up so nothing or no, nothing would get on them. I got this piece over here done also. A little bit of the primer is showing through, so I'll just have to touch it up. But it should be okay. Um, that looks good. Anyways, let's... I've been starting to tear this down because this is literally the only pieces I have left. I gotta clean up the chip pan real quick. Just run the sweeper over and get all the junk out of it. And get... pick up all the stuff first. And then run the sweeper over it. But I was wanting to get this gear here, or this pinion out, or rack out, not pinion, this rack out, and I've got most of the screws undone. The only thing is, these two here are stuck harder than anything, so I'm breaking out my tool. So let's get busy working on that. Also, to all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. And massive thank you to Steve. He I was kind of freaking out all of a sudden my subscriber number was going berserk. So Okay. The whole mess. No. <coughs> no, it's not coming out that way, so. What this tool does, you put it in there and just give it a good whack or two. And as it's going in, it pushes it in and turns it at the same time to knock it loose. There, that one's loose. Real easy. Piece of cake. Yeah, they just come right out now. So, let me get all these out. Just use a normal screwdriver on them now. These things are some seriously nasty looking screws. Yeah, a bunch of these I had knocked loose already. So, that's why they're already half out. Now, I'll take and knock this off. I'll come back. Okay. It was held in with pins. I had to get a screwdriver behind it just to knock it loose just a little bit. You can see the pins right there. You can see those, all the rust he colored stuff. It was already starting to rust weld itself to the table. So it needed to come off. I'll set this over here. Okay. 
And let me get a rag here, get cleaned up. Okay. Now to get underneath the here and you can see the bolts. There's only four bolts holding the whole thing together. I'll put you straight up there. That one, when they painted this thing before, they put the paint all over the bolts and they're much bigger than any wrench I have so I gotta take and try to finagle the wrench in there to get the thing on there and sockets won't work because they're too <laughs> the bolt heads are too big from the paint so this is gonna take a while to get off I'll come back after I get this off it's gonna take a while also as a side note there's the lead screw for the lathe I was goofing around in CAD and just doodled up uh, the threads so that I can slip it right on there. Yeah, it, there's the threads for that thing. So I'll doodle. All right, just 3D printed that out just real quick. That's not what the nut's going to look like, but I measured everything out and got everything done up. I was just testing the thread. So, yeah. I was thinking about doing some CAD program, or some CAD videos with FreeCAD, the one that I use. Doing stuff like making a Morse taper cleaner. Um, doing threads and stuff, like the nuts for this. Um you name it maybe some little steam engine parts or something let me know what you guys think and I'll if there's enough interest in it I'll put the videos up so hey anyway, let's get back to tearing this thing apart also note to self this one here on the tailstock end the non-threaded portion is a real short stubby one right here whereas this one has much much less threads and more non-threaded part okay I just got this pin out it just came out of here so if, when I put that back in or when I find that in the bag that's where it went um, these are the bolts coming from underneath of there. Oops, there. They have flat tops rather than the standard rounded over that I've been encountering. These are for underneath, so I know which ones go where. Okay. Two more to go. The one up at the far corner is the one that's being a pain. I can't get a hold of it. Okay, we got the bed off. This thing, yeah, it's sitting right there on the floor. We'll go out tomorrow and blast the crap out of it with the purple power and uh, blast the crap out of it to get all the stuff off. And we'll bring it back in and I'll strip it and paint it and get it ready to go. Okay, something I was wanting to show you. I got a little. I got a good laugh out of this when I got the saw. There's the base for the lathe. There's the saw. <laughs> so, there's actually three bolts here that hold these things on. There's some on the underside of the legs too. So I just gotta take those off. And they're all the same. They're just these longer ones here so they're longer than the rest so I'll get these torn apart and get everything ready to go okay I 
finally got this thing all apart. The piece here on the end on the base, this one had kind of a domed over one here. And then the back end to the far one had a pointed rounded over one. Kind of like a bullet. So that I make sure they go back in the way they're supposed to. Now set this thing down and legs up here. Go freehand for a second. Okay. That's that's as far down as I can go on this thing. Everything's stripped. And now I can take and straighten this pan out and get it all cleaned up. Because you can see how nasty this thing is. The underside is ten times worse. So I'll set these down so they don't fall over during the night. And I'm going in to grab a shower. I've got more grease on me than anything. Think about these old machines. They love oil, but they think you do too. So I'm going to clean everything up. I'm going to grab a shower. What a freaking mess. Now I can start taking stuff over to the shop when the floor is done. We're going to bust ass on the floor, or in the shop, to get this all done. So I can start carrying this stuff over. It only took two people to get this thing off, or the bed off. Surprisingly not as heavy as I thought it would be. Uh, I'm going to grab a shower and laying down. Thanks for watching. See ya.